We can only get what we want. We can't always get everything that we need. We can't always get what we want. Sometimes when we fight, we get this closure. We just don't get the needed closure. It's been long eight years since the day that we first fought. The city hall, man, they're so tough. Their minds are so rough. Their hearts are broken and their spirits are just defiled by the injustice of the justification that they validate. They make the KKK look like they're choir boys. We just can't seem to get what we want. We just seem to be losing the fight every inch of the turn. These people are sure closed-minded and broken-hearted. Their souls are so deprived. Justice is what they do best, it's denied. The Constitution means nothing to them unless they look in the mirror and pray a little prayer in front of the public. Pledge allegiance to the flag at every city meeting. Make themselves look as if they are greeting. Or oh, maybe we will one day win this battle. Until then, they just keep turning us back. Oh, it's like they try to rattle. Our nerves, our minds, our will, our confidence. Oh, baby, sometimes I feel like it's useless. But when I remember the first day of this battle, I said to myself, it's gonna be a long haul. It's gonna be a long journey down the road for closure. And just the fact that we keep on fighting for this closure. Man, it's nothing like it was when it was. It has to be an ending. But there never will be an ending. It just goes continues. Like an endless soap opera, man, it's like pitiful. How these city leaders can be so pathetic. They seem to think it's better to be humiliated publicly. They seem to think it's better to be degraded morally. They seem to think it's better just to be unethical. They seem to think it's better than to be prudent. They seem to think it's better than to be community oriented. They seem to think it's better than to be socially acceptable. They seem to think it's better than to be constitutionality. They seem to think it's better than to be one of the people. They seem to think it's better than to be one of the nation. They seem to think it's better to desecrate the blood of soldiers who shed their blood for the First Amendment. They think it's better than to be honorable and respected. They think it's better to be reelected. They seem to think it's better than to be, what you say, one of the people. They seem to think it's better to disrespect Latinos. They seem to think it's better to step on the civil rights of others. They seem to think it's better to trample upon the First Amendment. They seem to think it's better to desecrate their power. They seem to think it's better to uh, regulate injustice. They seem to think it's better to go around commuting all sorts of irregularities. They seem to think it's better than to be one of the people. It just seems so sad because back in the day the KKK did what they do. 
the injustice. They just seem to forget that back in the day when they were Latinos, they would be served injustice. Just like they serve injustice, they would be served a lack of First Amendment like they step on the First Amendment. Just because we are the brown skins, 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 just because if we are the brown skins, and if I had been speaking and running for mayor as a black man, they would never dare, or I think they might dare, to censor me. They are so rotten and humiliated by their own lack of Latino pride that they would censor anyone and everyone. They would even censor people just to see them cry. They would censor and they would censor everyone just to see them break their pride. They would do everything in their power to step on people. They will do everything in their power to trample upon the Constitution. They have no Latino pride. They might as well change their last name from Salinas to Anglo. They might as well change their last name from Ramirez to Anglo. They might as well change their last name from Cortez and Pérez to Anglo. They might as well bleach their skin from brown to white. They might as well put on a lily white sheet in the KKK because what they are doing today is no different than the 1950s what they do today is no different than the KKK did in the 1950s because back in the day the KKK would smile and shake your hand and throw you the third finger and say that you got no right to speak you got no right to speak. You got no right to speak. You got no civil rights. You got no support for compensation. That's the only way that they can hold their heads up by putting down the Constitution. They can walk around and run for re-election and have no Latino pride. They sell their Latino pride at the marketplace for re-election. Just because there are a few hundred who will say, I get erection. Just because they go around and throw the First Amendment ejection. They had no pride. They got 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 no pride. They choke the First Amendment with their lies. But I fight back. I fight back. I fight back. I fight back. I will continue to stand my ground and I will continue to fight back. I will pound them with my retaliation for recompensation. I will fight back. I will fight back. I will fight back. I will not give in. I will not give in. I will continue to fight back. I will fight back. I will fight back. Screw you.